Run said we were probably late already, although he seems to have outrun me and potentially made it to Potion's class on time. I don't know why he couldn't wait up for me. Yeah, that looks welcoming. I am your Potion's teacher, Professor Snape. Today, you will learn how to mix a Wigan Weld healing potion. You're late for potions, Mr. Potter. Inexcusable, even for celebrities. Five points from Gryffindor. Potter, go to the dungeons and fetch the potion ingredients for the class. I thought I was already in the dungeons. Dittany and flubberworm mucus. Be quick about it, or I shall deduct house points from Gryffindor. Now be gone, and don't come back without the ingredients. How the fuck am I supposed to know what those things are when I just walked into my first potions class ever during my tenure at Hogwarts? I wonder what happens if I bother him again. I thought I sent you to the dungeons for potion ingredients. Alright, alright. Hmm, that must be Disney. If you say so. Seems straightforward enough. <sighs> Why the fuck did you stop? You would have made it across if you had kept running. Jeez, Harry. God damn, mixed up the mouse buttons again. I don't understand how I can keep doing that. And I don't know what I was expecting either, being able to shoot a spell through the hole of a gate. Oh boy, another puzzle I have to figure out. I guess one has to go up against the ledge so I can climb out of the room. sure what to do with the second one. Oh, fuck, that was pointless. Oh, just... I just... I don't even know. This is probably painfully easy, and it's just not clicking right now. Okay, I clearly have no idea what I'm doing right now. Just... let's see... Ugh, God damn, I feel like such a fucking dumbass. Maybe they go down there, though? Okay. I... It just... Uh, Jesus. It can't possibly be this challenging. I'm either not thinking clearly or I'm overthinking it somehow. I don't even know what I'm thinking. I have no idea what I'm doing. It's probably so painfully obvious. No, I already tried jumping on top of one earlier. I couldn't make it. Yeah, I'll just push this one down here too. In my defense, I woke up from a power nap several minutes before I started recording this, so... I could blame that on my incompetence, maybe? Nah, I can't really. Now that I know what to do, this is so painfully obvious that I should have been able to do it in my sleep, let alone after my sleep. Of course, I need to move that shorter block up the path to be able to climb out of here. I can't believe that took me two minutes to figure out. How embarrassing. From what Amani told me, I think that's the Molly. Isn't Molly a drug? Nintendo! Up we go, Harry. Let's move on and forget how I performed in the last room. With Snape almost certainly watching, no less. I love save books, even more than the beans that are on the ground for possibly days that you're expected to be able to eat. Oh, fuck, that's badly out of sync. Oh wait, here it comes. Nice. Nearly overshot it, but I made it. I'll get rid of the gate while I'm up here. At this, let's see. Wow, I'm just. 
How did I even think that would even be remotely possible to make that jump? Wow, I'm just not in my element at all right now. Dang, still nearly fell off the edge there. And we'll see how this goes. Maybe it's a secret passage to the Great Hall. I can go and eat something. No, just a wizard card sitting in the middle of the floor. Again. How does... Does hiding the Flipendo spell behind a lock that can be opened with Helahomora really make for any sort of a challenge? No, I'm just nitpicking now. Come on... Show me some... Fuck. Of course it would lead me back here. Oh, I would have cried if I had fallen off there. Challenge star, flipendo button... I somehow stood there and did nothing. What the fuck, Harry? Why didn't you grab on? You always grab the ledges and shit. Except for that time. I'm getting tired of going through the same part of the level all over again. Oh yeah, of course, I have to go through this again, too. I know I could just cut out repeat sequences and such, but... Eh, I don't know. I'm surprised spells travel slower than the speed of light, though. But I guess if they didn't, you wouldn't be able to defend yourself in battle. Fuck, missed a chance to jump on again. I don't even know why that irritates me so much. All I have to do is wait a few seconds to try again. I can't imagine what Snape would say if I got all the challenge stars. Maybe he'd be like, Very well, Potter. Two points for Gryffindor. That's probably the horriblest. Horriblest? Worst Snape impression ever. God damn it, I don't know why, but I thought I had to get this flipendo button again. I'm just not thinking clearly right now for whatever reason. Oh, please let me reach that save book. Wait, what am I thinking? I should try to trigger the flipendo button from the block itself. And good, made it. Thank fuck. Those are going to fall, aren't they? Yeah, sounds like it. I'm at least happy that I'm more successful this time around with the range of my spells. Fuck you, Snape. This is bullshit. At least redoing this part isn't as annoying or time-consuming. I mean, hey, if at first you don't succeed, deny you were even trying. I'm really glad I'm having better luck hitting these objects from far away. Excellent, another save book. Excellent, another easy series of jumping across stones. Excellent, another challenge star. Oh no, it's the bloody Baron. Is that a bad thing? Well, I'll see what he has to say. Ooh. All right, then that was brilliant. <sighs> At least the Bloody Baron doesn't act like such a joke. That's one detail the game followed from the book better than the movie did. If you watch the movie, the part where they're sitting down to their first banquet of the new term, 
and the ghosts come through the walls and floors into the great hall. There's a part of that scene where the camera is on one of the ghosts and you can hear a student say, Look, it's the Bloody Baron! But all he's doing is waving a sword around wildly like it's a toy and laughing with a goofy smile on his face. He even looks very happy and cheerful. Now in the book, he's described as looking frightening and intimidating, and is even able to keep Peeves the poltergeist under control, the only person in the castle who seems to be able to do so, aside from Dumbledore. I'm glad Snape's not visiting me in the middle of this course like some of the other teachers sometimes do. That would suck shit through a straw. Mm, that looks like Wigan tree bark. Yeah, this is probably straightforward enough. Of course, it would help if I put two seconds of thought and observation into this puzzle, and I wouldn't waste any more time than I've already wasted following into endless abysses. Also, if Snape was standing around some of the time staring at you as you come into a random room, would you spend time picking up every single bean? Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, a loading screen. That means I'm nowhere near done yet. How do I get up there? Oh right, steps. Let's see. And those are traps, too. I need to figure out the pattern here. Hmm, let's see. Seriously? You fucking... Well, I have no one to blame but myself. And it looks like such a simple pattern, too. Well, this is probably my worst episode so far in terms of how competently I'm playing this game. It took me two minutes to figure out that I'm supposed to push two pillars into a hole. Then I died two or three times, then I fall off one of these stair ledge thingies that withdraw into the wall. Fuck me. This shit sucks. Not even acquiring another challenge star can make me feel better right now. Beans aren't going to cheer me up either. Not even acquiring the next ingredient is going to make me feel better. Because that means I have to go back to Snape and his potions class even sooner. What would cheer me up, then? I have been reading the books. Just started the fifth one, as of the time I played this level. But I've already read a few chapters today. I'm not gonna go back and do that again, necessarily. Or read any more. Why do the gargoyles open their mouths like they're expecting a cum shot? They're on their hands and knees and everything. Man, I'm glad Harry's not afraid of heights. Although if he was, he wouldn't be on the Quidditch team either, so... That must be flubberworm mucus. Oh, fuck. No, no, no. No. Did I mess up my escape route? Shit. Oh, okay. I'm good now. It's always smart of the developers to think of ways the player can inadvertently trap themselves and then play safeguards to prevent that from happening. Although I'm curious why they didn't just keep the area separated by another gate that I can't cast a spell through. At least then I wouldn't have a heart attack for several seconds. Now what do we have here? Oh. Why doesn't it just move automatically? 
Well, who cares? Seriously. It'd be neat if it could carry me up the stairs, too. I'm surprised I've never seen the equivalent of an escalator anywhere in the Harry Potter universe. At least that I can recall. I'm sure there's something. Good thing the Bloody Baron doesn't chase after you. God, that's so weird. I can't unsee it. Oh shit, that was close. The vaguely defined edges make these things so dangerous sometimes. I'm not sure how far off center I'm necessarily allowed to stand on them, so if you ever want to make a running jump, it's not necessarily the best you can do because you're always jumping earlier than you normally would. Just in case. See, right there. Nearly overshot at that time. I'm not about to try it, but I wonder if one more step would lead me falling off or not. Oh god, here he comes. Other than not wanting to touch this particular ghost because he hurts you, I'm not sure what's so scary about ghosts in general. They're a jump scare, sure, but any creature could do that. Was I supposed to get these treasure chests first? I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting tired of this. Let's just get out of here. Although, what if there's a collector's card in one of them? God, now I have to check. There's quite a few chests as well. Tell me I can't get back up. They can't even change my mind without making myself look like an asshole. I don't believe this shit. Yeah, he's not gonna grab it. Fucking hell, Harry. Let's just get out of here. Finally, the last ingredient. Hmm, that must be Disney. Oh boy, here we go. Late again, you lazy boy. A further three points from Gryffindor should teach you a lesson. Uh oh. I see you've collected a few challenge stars, but I'm afraid they have no value in my classroom. What? I've ended the lesson without you, Potter. What? The other students are off to the Halloween feast. What? Asshole! Who gives a shit if I'm late? I died like four times and you couldn't be asked to make sure you had the necessary materials that you needed to teach your own class? Harry! A huge troll is on the rampage! Cornered Hermione in the girls' bathroom! She needs our help! We must try to rescue her straight away! And it's the first fucking class for first years too! Or at least I thought it was until we fast-forwarded through time to Halloween, but it still couldn't have been too hard to prepare for. Get fucked. You'd better get your shit together or I'm gonna push it in and use the grease from your hair and slimy face as lubricant. Snape thinks he's hot shit, but he's more like boiling diarrhea. Fuck this guy. You smell like ass. Also... Harry, what? Smell. Who cares? He did the whole lesson without me and I didn't learn tits. Oh god, what the fuck? No! No, no, no. I hate these backwards ass running challenge shithead courses. I always get left and right mixed up when I do this. Oh my. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Ah, see? Right there. That happens. Of course, I still fell off ledges and platforms and potions class, even when I had the luxury of going forward and seeing where I was going. Speaking of potions. Fuck you, Ron! All I did was errands because Snape kept his ingredients scattered in dungeons instead of in cupboards. Snape couldn't even be asked to do an Accio summoning spell. 
Do the other students get anything done without those ingredients, or were they just watching me and laughing at my repeated and stupid failures? And now I have to do this shit where I'm running from a different troll that isn't Snape, where I can't see where I'm going, and SON OF A BITCH! I died at the same spot, too. You ever have one of those days where your piss just exits the urethra at a 45 degree angle? That's what this whole episode has been like. Fuck you, Snape! God damn, asshole. I'm worn out now. Fucking hell. I mean, for... Jesus Christ. Just... I guess I'm doing better now getting used to this method of gameplay. Good. Finally got it. I feel like they did the character of Snape pretty well in this game, regardless if it's based on the movie directly more than the book. The looks, the voice, the dialogue, everything's fine. They did a good job with him. How much longer does this go on? Seriously, I don't want to get this far and then mess up at the end. Let's see, come on. Not how much longer. Yes, the end. Finally made it. <laughs> what? It's not the end? Oh, wait, it is the end. Made it. Trapped him. Very good. Well, don't act surprised. In the girls bathroom. Just because I was yelling doesn't mean I wasn't paying attention. Is I mean, how do you two make a mistake like that? I mean, nothing makes sense here. Did you somehow not realize that you were leading it to the girls bathroom? No, Ron. That would have been a useful part of your plan to tell me about several seconds ago. But the bathroom should have been labeled, and perhaps even you didn't know Hermione was in this particular bathroom, but if you somehow knew Hermione was trapped in the bathroom, then you probably also would have had an idea of which bathroom it was. Speaking of which, the whole premise was horseshit anyways, because the troll wasn't anywhere near Hermione when you found it. Even if it had her cornered when you were aware of the situation, the troll obviously left and you could have let it elsewhere. And granted, I'm not sure where the best place to put it would be, but it would be fucking anywhere else than where you thought it had previously cornered Hermione. What if she couldn't leave after the troll did because she was hurt and needed help? Also, I was busy talking, but Ron got hit twice in a row. Good on him for not breaking his concentration on the spell. Uh, any time now, Ron. What the fuck are you waiting for? It's already above his head, just drop it. Fuck's sake, dude. Hermione, are you alright? Thanks for saving me. Is he dead? Her first body language reaction after running up to them is to Come fold on, her arms. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm getting out of here too. Done with this. What a disaster of a I don't even know. <laughs> 